Hi. Welcome to the Groups and Cooperation Symposium. We're excited to have you all here. I'm going to be introducing each person before their presentation. And first, we have Yontel Liu with Temporal Dynamic Wig Graph Convolution for Multi-Agent Reinforcement Learning. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming here. I'm Liu Yontel. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about our work Temporal dynamic weighted graph convolution for multi agent reinforcement learning. Uh, first, we talk about some basic concepts in multi agent reinforcement learning. Multi agent reinforcement learning methods control multiple agents in a multi agent task, providing action for each agent based on its own observation. Our work focuses on partially observable multi-agent reinforcement learning task. It can be modeled as a partially observable Markov decision process. Uh, tuples in this process contains uh, a state set S, action set A, transition function T, partial observation O, reward function R, and uh, policy pi of each agent. Uh, then we talk about related works. Uh, early multi-agent re uh, reinforcement learning methods have independent structure. Each agent trains its own policy model. Uh, uh, then comes four centralized multi-agent reinforcement learning models. They use joint observation and actions for training. Uh, these two methods go to two different uh, extremes, and it is hard to get great performance. Uh, recently, algorithms with uh, centralized training receives Broad attention and achieves great uh, achieves great performance. Uh, the red arrow in the figure in the red figure denotes the uh, training process, and the bl black ones refers uh, to ex execution process with the training model. The execution uh, process can be de decentralized and uh, or centralized. Uh, however, the multi-agent systems contain a group agents interacting with each other, and there are still some challenges for research in this field. Uh, the first challenge is that it is difficult to, low, uh, to learn cooperative policies e effectively. Uh, consider the retreating action of agent A to the back of the agent B in uh, MM2 map uh, in SMAC environment. Uh, the popular method of QMix uh, only executes executes the retreat action when it observes that the HP of agent A is extremely low, uh, which is an inefficient policy learning uh, procedure. Uh, if we can directly model this relationship, agent A and B can share the HP information to perform the retreat policy effectively. Uh, about how to model the uh, relationship, uh, to solve this problem, uh, problem uh, we can introduce the graph model to uh, model the relationship between agents. Uh, take five, uh, take five, five M map in SMAC environment as an uh, example. Uh, we can model agents uh, and the relationship between uh, between agents as a graph. Uh, each node in this graph represents an agent in the environment. Uh, features in each node contain uh, information of states, observation, and so on. Uh, each edge between node I and node J represents the relationship between agent I and agent J. Uh, the existence of edge means information sharing, uh, communication, and collaborative training between agents. Uh, we, can apply graph, uh, we can apply graph convolutional network uh, on this graph to imply the, the implement sharing, communication, and the collaborative training. Uh, recent works usually construct a local graph. Uh, in the local graph, uh, agents can select uh, neighbors according to the spatial information such as distance. Uh, moreover, it, moreover, ages, ages only exist between neighbors. Uh, then comes two problems. The first is that the relationship between agents uh, fluctuates dramatically over time, which makes it difficult operative policy, policies. Uh, the, relation, the, the relationship between agents in a multi-agent system shows a very drastic change with the progress of the game, which is reflected in the construction of the local graph. 
Uh, this means that the structure of the graph will change dramatically uh, as the relationship changes. Uh, take SMAC environment as an example. Uh, there are three local graphs constructed at a different time steps of one episode. Uh, we can observe that the structure of this graph changes dramatically because the number of uh, lab agents and their positions uh, in, in each state uh, changes, changes over the time. Uh, we can introduce the global graph to alleviate the relationship fluctuating problem mentioned above. However, the, glo uh, the global graph brings noise uh, when computing the cooperative policies. Uh, in this figure, the red line denotes the distance between agents is large, uh, which means there is no cooperation between agents uh, be between these agents in the current state. Uh, but the global graph forces learning cooperative policies between these agents, uh, which is called noise in the global graph. Uh, now, now we introduce our proposed method. The key idea of our method is introducing a weighted global graph to model relationships between agents. In order to solve the aforementioned problems, we directly abandon the local graph and only decide the global graph to model relationships between our agents. Uh, we introduce relationship uh, ways to describe the change of the cooperation relationship uh, with, with time, which is expressed in the form of a weighted matrix. Uh, then we talk about how to compute the weights on the global graph. Uh, we compute the temporal weights based on the temporal cooperative features in order to generate temporal cooperative features, uh, the temporal cooperative, cooperative relationship between agents must be considered. Uh, but what is a temporal cooperative relationship? Uh, taking an existing uh, retreat policy in the following game as, a, as an example, agent two is, a, is under attack and uh, needs to retreat behind agent one. And agent one needs to provide the cover uh, policy. Uh, it can be observed that the, uh, this policy only occurs during the period of time step uh, 15, 15 to 25, rather than lasting for the entire, entire game. Uh, this means that the cooperative policy will last, for, will last for a period of time, which is called the temporal cooperative relationship. Uh, now we describe our model for extracting temporal cooperative features. Uh, traditional temporal time series data processing models applied in the reinforcement learning method, such as the LSTM and uh, the GRU model, will encode the information of all time steps before the current time into the latent features. Uh, the features extracted in this way contain a lot of information which will draw out the temporal cooperative relationship that occurs over a period of time. Uh, therefore, we design a temporal feature extract extraction model based on temporal convolutional network and use the characteristics of the recept uh, receptive field of the convolutional network to efficiently capture the cooperative information in the temporal dimension. Uh, here we talk about our temporal weight learning mechanism. Uh, first, we use a TCM mode, uh, temporal convolutional network model to extract a temporal cooperative features. Uh, then we design a weight learning mechanism consists of, uh, consists of a weight encoder to map the temporal cooperative features uh, to the temporal dynamic weights. Uh, these weights are then embedded into uh, into edges on the global graph. Uh, at this time, uh, the weight reflects the strength of the cooperative relationship between agents. Uh, this mechanism can alleviate the problem that the cooperative relationship between agents fluctuate, uh, fluctuates dramatically over time. Uh, finally, we talk about our proposed framework. Uh, first, uh, we, compute, we compute the local observation features by the agent network. Uh, then we use a temporal cooperative weight learning mechanism to generate, uh, uh, to generate temporal cooperative features and weights. Uh, next, 
uh, we embed with uh, this width into the weighted global graph and use uh, the GCN model to generate global cooperative, cooperative features for agents. Uh, finally, we compute, compute policies uh, based on these features. The training of objective function is shown as below. Uh, let me talk about uh, the experience, experiments. Uh, in this figure, the orange curve uh, shows the performance of our proposed method. Uh, this uh, we can observe uh, from this figure uh, that our our proposed method achieves state of the art results on most of the difficult maps in a uh, SMAC environment. And now we show video records on two representative maps uh, in SMAC environment. Uh, the first is the MMM2 map. And the second is the uh, 1M2H with us bar M map. Uh, we can observe that uh, our agents uh, can, easy, uh, can easily beat uh, enemies. Uh, thanks for listening. Usually, um, if there's questions, you know, uh, we just want to facilitate questions in the room or online as well. Hi, are there any questions for Yuan Tao about his presentation? Hello, I'm uh, Jordan Suchow from Stevens Institute of Technology. Um, it looks like many of the cooperative actions that you're modeling here involve the movement of, of one of the agents from place to place. Um, does this framework um, extend to and include other kinds of actions? Uh, and and uh, if not, what, what would you need to do to, uh, to, to incorporate that, uh, those other kinds of uh, uh, actions that the agents might take in the environment? Thanks. Uh, uh, our uh, our proposed uh, method uh, uh, is mainly con con uh, is mainly uh, uh, conduct the uh, uh, experiment on uh, the SMAC, uh, which is a game environment. Uh, but I think. Uh, uh, but I have, I, uh, we have tried to uh, uh, apply our proposed method in the uh, real, uh, in the real world environment, uh, and uh, it can get some, uh, it can get some, uh, it can learn some uh, useful, uh, useful co cooperative uh, policies between. Uh, multi agent, uh, uh, multi agent in the uh, real world environment. Okay, I think we have time for one more question. If anyone would like to to ask virtually or in person. All right. Well, thank you, Yantao Liu.